This is a shoebox antenna that uh, costs about a dollar. I am using things that are laying around the house. A uh, shoebox, uh, some coaxial cable, common household tools, wires, tinfoil, glue. Uh, the, uh, the coaxial, you, know, you need a piece that has an end that can actually screw into the RF uh, connector on the television. And then I'm using craft glue and some tin foil. So those things were readily available in my house. And then I had some household wiring that I basically had to strip off the uh, insulation. This terminal block is actually something that I had to purchase at an electronics hardware store. And uh, the back of the antenna needs a reflector. So you take a piece of cardboard and you cut it just slightly larger than the shoebox itself. And then you take your tin foil and make a piece bigger than the cardboard. Uh, take your glue and put glue all over the tin foil. Then you're going to take your cardboard and lay it right on that glue and fold the edges up and basically make your reflector. Uh, this is going to be for the back part of the antenna to bounce the signals back to your your uh, dipole receiver piece that we're going to make in a moment. So glue this up well and take the edges and fold them over. And once that's done you're ready to turn it over and mount your shoebox on top of it and start bringing in those HD signals. Take your shoe box and uh, center it and make sure that it's at the bottom of the reflector. You want it to stand up and again you'll be positioning it to tune to stations that you will be trying to get. Take the box and glue it on. Now you're ready to take your your little block and your wire and make that part of the antenna. Again, this 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 uh, this part I had to go and buy. It's the only thing I actually had to purchase for this antenna. And it's just a way to connect two wires together without having to solder. It's called a terminal block. Take your wire, and this wire was just common household uh, wiring, and I stripped off the insulation with a, a utility knife. You need a, two pieces of this, and they need to be about six and a half inches long, and one half of the inch is going to be a right angle bend so it can slide into the terminal block. So cut your wire and try to straighten it out as good as possible and then take a needle nose and do a little bend on the end and again that's going to slip into that terminal block and make the connection with the coaxial that's going to connect to the back of your television. So slide that in one side. Take another one and slide it in the other side and just take a common uh, precision screwdriver or a small screwdriver and tighten those down. You can make them tight so they almost don't move at all but you might have to adjust them once you put the antenna together. And now you're ready to work with the coaxial cable that's going to hook into the bottom of this terminal block. Take your coaxial and you strip off the insulation uh, maybe a couple inches because you're going to trim that off too. So once you get that cut off then you're going to take that shielding on the outside and you're going to peel it back. And once you got it all peeled back, you're going to twist it into a nice fine thread. So it'll take a little time to do that. You want to kind of get as much as you can because it's going to be slid into that terminal block and the screw is going to be holding it down. So you do want it to make contact. Uh, if, you know, if you have a long piece of coaxial, you can take your time. If it doesn't work, chop it off, try it again. You now take your utility knife and cut around the plastic part, and inside of that plastic is going to be a 
hopper center. And that's going to be your second lead. There. You know, what you end up with is basically two leads. And one's going to go in one side of the terminal block, one's going to go in the other. So twist it up nice and maybe bend it around because you're going to have to slide it in that little thing. And get out your uh, needle nose and do some trimming. Trim it off and get ready to insert it into the terminal block. Basically slide one in one side and tighten it down and then slide the copper in the other side and tighten that down. Just make sure they're making contact because without proper contact the antenna won't work. Well, once that's completed, you basically have an antenna. Now the shoebox part is a reflector and a way to mount this thing because it's really hard to have this hanging around your house unless it's on something and that's where the shoebox comes in. I've given several views of this because this is probably the most complicated piece of the whole antenna. But, seen it this many times, should be pretty simple to do. And just keep trying. If it, if it messes up, if you can't quite bend something or it breaks, just take another piece and work at it again. Well, here is the shoebox. Stick the shoebox on the table and take this part and center it in the middle of the whole reflector. And take some tape and tape it down. Uh, you might want to use a more heavy-duty tape, but make sure it doesn't have metal in it. So don't use metal tape. You know, use something that the signal can get, get through. I took some regular tape that was laying around and I taped it all over because I know I'm going to put it up in a spot and move it around and I don't want it, the antenna ripping right off the shoebox. Basically, your antenna is ready to go. Stand it upright and you'll see you have a high definition UHF antenna for about a dollar worth of cost and about 20 minutes of your time. Put it on the television, screw it in, and start getting those high definition signals. If you want more information, you can go to my homemade antennas, blogspot.com.